Hello and welcome to this year's VEX Robotics Competition, Roundup. Roundup is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot field covered by foam tiles. The primary playing object for this year's game is a 7 inch diameter ring called a tube. There are 36 tubes on the field at the start of the match, with an additional two tubes per alliance available for preload, making 40 tubes in total. The objective of Roundup is to score your alliance's tubes onto goalposts. There are four fixed goalposts located along the field perimeter. There are also five movable weighted bases located on the playing surface. These movable weighted bases have goalposts attached to them. A goalpost can be owned by having the most tubes of your alliance color scored on that goalpost at the end of the match. If both alliances have the same number of tubes scored on the goalpost, neither alliance has owned the goal. The latter is a 36-inch tall sheet metal and PVC structure located in the center of the field. Robots may climb, hang, or attach themselves to the ladder to attain bonus points at the end of the match. A robot is considered low-hanging if it is touching the ladder and every part of the robot is above the orange rung on the ladder. A robot is considered high-hanging if it is touching the ladder and every part of the robot is above the yellow rung on the ladder. A robot on your alliance that is high-hanging on the ladder is worth 20 points. A robot on your alliance that is low-hanging on the ladder is worth 10 points. A tube of your alliance color scored on a goalpost is worth 2 points. A goal which is owned by your alliance is worth 5 points. At the end of the 20-second autonomous period, the alliance that has the most total points receives a 10-point bonus. All scores are calculated immediately after the 2-minute match. Let's see how a match is played. And on the green field we have match number 105. We've got two robots on the blue alliance and they'll be facing the two robots forming the Red Alliance. Red Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? Autonomous in three, two, one. Looks like the Blue Alliance receives the 10-point autonomous bonus. Operator control in 3, 2, 1. We've got a red robot pinning a blue robot. The referee is telling them to back off. Look at all the action in this match. Team scoring tubes all over the place. Let's watch these robots try and earn some big hanging points. Wow, what an exciting match. Let's tally up the score. Blue won the autonomous bonus for 10 points. This fixed goalpost has one red tube scored on it. Tubes scored on goalposts are worth two points. Additionally, this goal is owned by red. Owning a goal is worth five points for a total of seven points. This movable weighted base has four blue tubes scored on it for eight points, plus five additional points for being owned by blue, 13 in total. This movable weighted base has one blue tube scored on it for two points. It is also owned by the Blue Alliance for a total of seven points. This movable weighted base has two tubes scored on it by red and two tubes scored on it by blue. It is tied, so neither alliance has owned this goal. Both teams receive four points for the scored tubes. This robot is completely above the yellow rung of the ladder, so it receives a 20-point bonus. Unfortunately, part of this robot is below the yellow rung of the ladder, so it is not considered high-hanging. It is, however, still above the orange rung of the ladder, so it is considered low-hanging for a 10-point bonus. This robot is completely above the orange rung of the ladder. It is also considered low-hanging for a 10-point bonus. Finally, this robot is neither high nor low-hanging. It receives no bonus. The results of Match 105 are coming up, and it looks like the Blue Alliance has won with a score of 64-21. to 21. Vex Roundup.
For more information, team resources, and the official game manual, see VexRobotics.com or RobotEvents.com.